I want to tell y'all something, man, and I, I really hope y'all are ready to receive what I'm saying. This message I'm about to preach to y'all or teach to y'all is for those who are mature, for those who are in relationships, for those who are beyond what I call basic relationship issues. You know, basic non-communication, petty stuff. If you ain't beyond that, you're going to miss this message. When you've been in a relationship for a long time, you tend to over-love. You tend to over-cater. You tend to, uh, to over-check, to micromanage this person. Because deep down inside, your love for them is so big, you want to do any and everything just to make them smile. You want to do any and everything just to please them. You want to do any and everything just to make them happy, right? I mean, you've been in a relationship for a long time. Your love is deep. Your love has transcended a lot of these materialistic things that may have been prevalent in the beginning part of your relationship. But now that you're hitting two, three, five, ten years, it's like you don't, you can't quite put your finger on it, but that fire is in there. Now, society says that's the infatuation stage. That's not supposed to last forever. That's only supposed to last for the first part of the relationship. And then you got to hope love takes over and that's it. I don't believe in that, man. I believe that you should continually fall in love with your partner over and over again. But we get lazy. We don't recognize that routine is the killer of excitement. And love, unfortunately, gets very routine after a few years together. You know, when you open up your mouth and you say, baby, I hungry. Oh, yeah, baby, what you want, man? You want me to get you your favorite from KFC? You want me to get you your favorite from Wendy's? You want, me, you want me to cook you your favorite meal? And that's fine. I ain't saying don't do that. But I'm saying you got to find a unique way to, to stir up that what if possibility. Like I said in my recent status, you got to find a way to say no now, even though you know you're going to say yes later. Right? How do you do that? Don't be so quick to jump to their every whim. Love them, yes. Take care of your spouse, yes. Be there for them and protect them, yes. Once that's being covered, you know, adjust the distance. You don't always have to cater to them 100% of the way. Go like 98% of the way, you know? If your spouse is asking you to, to go on a dinner date, say, oh, baby, I know, I, I had some other things planned, full stop. You know, just leave that be, let that simmer for a little bit because, you know, you respect one another, so you're not going to be... Uh, uh, a manager about it and try to find out who, what else you got going on it only supposed to be me in your life no because <laughs> this ain't no petty relationship we mature here what's going to happen is you're going to stir up that that sense of mystery like what else could my partner have going on for two years you ain't never had nothing going on and whenever I tell you let's go you quick to move and now all of a sudden you may have plans what's going on and so through the whole day you're going to consume their mind for that whole day. They just trying to figure out what's going on. They texting you more now. Hey, baby, just checking up on you. Hey, you ain't too busy. I, I want to make sure I ain't, I ain't intruding and in what you got going on. That's a part of the plan. That's what you want them to do. That's what you want them to think. Your goal is never to say no. You know you hungry. You know you want to go out to the movies. You know you want to go out to eat and stuff your face, right? But you can't always over contribute you can't over love i hope i'm being clear when i say this i'm not saying don't love i'm just saying allow them to to think a little bit allow them to 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 think about the unknown for a little bit studies have shown that mystery is one of the key components of attraction that's why you find a lot of people end up in bad relationships because they fall wholeheartedly into the mystery and realize well shucks this guy too mysterious i don't even know who you are anymore and once that happens, well, after it's too late, after the feelings develop, you find, oh boy, I'm in a relationship with someone who I shouldn't be with. But if you have been in a long-term relationship, trust me, this is how you reignite that fire. This is how you stir up that passion that you lost, that you got comfortable with and you just let it go. It can still happen. Be mysterious. Don't over-contribute. Don't over-love. Don't over-cater. Pull back sometimes and adjust the length of your rope. If you gave her 15 inches yesterday, today, give her 10. Shorten that rope. Now, listen here. Y'all stop being nasty, please. That was just an example. <laughs> but y'all get what I'm saying, man. So listen, you can still have attraction. You can still have that fire in a long-term relationship. You just got to work. Once you work, guys, you will get what you, what you put in. If you put in that time and that energy and that effort to create this, you will get it out. You will get it out. All right? As always, give this video a like and a share. 
so someone else can get this message too. Again, some food, I'm hungry.